Hi, Stu from Music Technology here. In today's video, I want to look at five useful things that I use when I'm building guitar pedals. And these are things that I go back to time and time again and are usually involved in the prototyping and designing processes. So if you're anything like me, you'll have multiple projects sitting around on breadboards all over the place. Uh, these are things that I'm still testing and haven't fully realized into full projects yet. Some of them are audio projects and some of them are not. This is a clock, for example. So I have a bunch of these lying around and these are always useful, these little breadboards, just to quickly prototype little EQ circuits, tone controls such as this one. Um, but I always find myself having to wire the inputs and outputs using jacks such as this one, for example, and this one here. And that can be a bit of a pain when you're constantly building up circuits such as the ones that we've been analyzing in our videos. So you saw me build this in a previous video, which is a pedal um, from a recycled old housing and it's got two of those breadboards on top and we've got our input output and our power coming in here from our power jack and this is extremely useful because you can just build up your project and put it into your normal pedal chain. Here's one that we've been looking at in recent videos with the output stage of the Big Muff Pi pedal built onto it. So these are uh, my first thing that I use all the time homemade or DIY prototyping pedals and I highly recommend building some of these if you're into building guitar pedal circuits. So next on the list is a collection of multimeters. This is my favorite one. I usually use it in continuity mode for testing continuity through a circuit and also in DC voltage mode. If I want to measure current, I usually use this one or that one, as you've seen in some of the previous videos. But I highly recommend having at least one decent multimeter and you tend to collect them as you go through and get more into the hobby of building guitar effects and they're always useful. I recommend holding on to any that you're given because they'll always come useful at some point for a project. It's always a good idea to have some kind of sound generator such as this adjustable sawtooth generator. There's a video of how I made this on the channel and how it works inside. And this is my white and pink noise generator. You've seen me use both in previous videos to generate some signal. You can also of course use a function generator as well or indeed when you're beginning just a guitar. Uh, just a guitar is a reasonable thing to use. However, using some kind of noise generator, even a simple one, means that it frees up your hands from playing guitar so you can tweak values in your circuit. One of the things I find myself using in every project I do, guitar related or otherwise, is this component tester. It's really good just to get a rough idea of values or if you've got a mysterious transistor or something like that, it will tell you what it is. Now I've used it so much that I actually broke the button. This button no longer works. So I've temporarily replaced it with a smaller one and I've got one of these on order, but just to show you how much I actually use this, I've broken the button that you press to measure the component like that. I also decided when I was doing some work on it the other day to buy some of these test leads and create a little connector which goes in here and now I can connect these to much bigger components. So a cheap little upgrade you can do if you've got one of these, extremely useful. You've all seen and heard me use this in my videos. This is my lab amplifier. It's based on a Ruby circuit. Before I had that one, I had this one here, which you can see has also got a meter on it, but I put the controls on the back because that's the only way I could fit them into this one and it's slightly difficult to use in a prototyping situation. So when I got hold of an old intercom from a theater which had this oblong speaker, oval speaker in it, then I decided to build an upgraded version with the controls on the front and the input jack on the front and it's right in front of me in the lab here which makes it really easy to test projects without having to set up a big amplifier. So those are five of my go-to tools that I use when prototyping guitar effects pedals in the lab. What are some of your favorites? It'd be interesting to hear in the comments below. Until next time, happy experimenting. I've been Stu from Music Technology. Have a great week and see you again soon.